Hello everyone, I'm Aina Shet, Certified Lactation Educator working in Mangalore. Welcome to Breastfeeding Week. This week we celebrate the many benefits of breastfeeding and offer support and education for mothers and families. Today I will be discussing breastfeeding during the first two weeks after birth. The first month of parenthood can be quite challenging as you adjust to the responsibility of caring for a newborn so in particular breastfeeding can become very difficult or it can have it can have its own set of learning curves educating yourself about breastfeeding before your baby arrives is a great tip to prepare yourself mentally and emotionally the most important advice i can give you is to be easy on yourself remember to prioritize your own well-being eat a balanced diet stay hydrated and get enough rest whenever possible taking care of yourself will not only benefit your overall health but also support your breastfeeding journey. Now let's see what you can expect in the first two days after birth. Day one, basically babies are alert in the first two hours after birth and have the intuitiveness to suckle. So place your baby skin to skin as soon as possible after birth. This is called the golden hour. Talk to your OBGYN about this very important and necessary hour. Once roomed in, Keep your baby close and get support to help you find a good position for latching. Your baby may be drowsy throughout this day as they go into recovery sleep and you may or may not see the first milk called colostrum. So learn how to hand express to get this precious liquid out. Day 2. You can expect your baby to be hungry and feeding frequently. Your baby is likely to be much more alert and hungry wanting to nurse every other hour or two. If you cannot get the baby to latch hand express colostrum and spoon feed your baby if you're not making milk right away talk to your pediatrician of supplementing with donor milk or formula day two is also the day or night when you may encounter the second night syndrome your baby may cry aloud between 9 pm and 3 am feeling overwhelmed by this new world this might tempt you to formula feed but the best strategy is to hold your baby skin to skin swaddle and offer the breast or spoon feed express milk Day 3. Continue to keep your baby close and breastfeed on demand. You can expect 3 wet and 3 greenish brown bubble movement di diapers or more by the end of day 3. Your breast may start to feel heavy as your body begins to transition to produce mature milk. Day 4. Your breast may feel heavy and tight. When your breasts are full, it may be challenging to get a good latch. Briefly express some milk by hand or with a pump to relieve the fullness and soften the nipple. If your breast becomes engorged, use cold packs to reduce swelling between feedings. Seek help from a lactation consultant if desired. Day 5. Your baby and your body will start adjusting to breastfeeding. Your baby will probably wake up every 2-3 to three hours to nurse, producing a minimum of 6 wet diapers and 3-4 to four yellowish CD stools. After each feeding, your breast should soften, indicating successful milk removal and your baby should begin to gain weight. Day 6 to 10. Expect to settle into a breastfeeding routine. As your milk supply increases, your baby will likely establish a consistent routine for feeding, sleeping and being awake. If your baby enjoys breastfeeding for comfort, they may cluster feed during specific times of the day. Make yourself comfortable for these longer feeding sessions. Days 11 to 14. You can prepare for a growth spurt. Your baby will likely want to nurse more often, acting very hungry. This can last for a few days until your milk supply adjusts to meet the increased demands. Your breast may not feel as full, but this doesn't mean your milk supply has decreased. If your baby is content and gaining weight, they are getting enough milk. So, these are the tips that I would like to, I, I wanted to share with you. Thank you for joining us for Breastfeeding Week. Let's support each other and create a healthy future for your children.